The Buddha said that one of the tests for Dharma is that when you put it into practice, it leads to contentment. If your surroundings are good enough to practice, they're good enough in terms of food, clothing, shelter, medicine. It's good to have a sense of what really is enough for us. We, our ideas of enough have become so inflated that if you think about people in the time of a John Mun, a John Lee, they just have to shake their heads. We're so used to everything being comfortable. We even have music with our Dharma talks now. So it's good to get out and get a sense of well, what's really necessary, what's enough. Because after all, the, the real problem is not outside, the real problem is inside. There's one area where the Buddha said not to be content, and that's with the level of skill in your mind. If something unskillful is coming up in your mind, you don't just sit there and watch it and say, well, that's the way things have to be. You realize that part of the reason why it's coming up is what you're doing in the present moment, so you've got to change what you're doing. So look carefully at what you're doing. When greed comes up, when anger comes up, when jealousy comes up, where's the allure? Why do you go for these things? And if you haven't figured it out, well, you keep on trying. There are times when you say, well, that's all I am capable of today, I've got to rest. That's when you have a sense of what your strengths are. But when you are strong enough to figure things out, well, try to do it. And this is what we're trying to figure out. We're not trying to figure out the world outside. We're trying to figure out the mind. We all want happiness. We all want well-being. Everything we do is for the sake of happiness, and yet we end up causing suffering. Why is that? What's wrong? Where are we missing? Where are we ignorant? That's something you want to figure out, and that's an area where you can't rest content. As I said, you know how much strength you have to deal with something right now, and you try to do it as you can, and if you have to rest, well, then you rest. But you rest for the sake of gathering strength so you can attack the problem again. And that's when you develop contentment in the right way. Content with things outside, not content with things inside, and you've cleaned up the mind thoroughly. Did John say that it's when you meet the, reach the point of enough inside? Not simply by telling yourself to have enough or to be content with enough, but when the mind is perfectly full, perfectly satisfied with the well-being it's been able to find. That's when you can really rest.